Boba Fett, one of the most enigmatic characters in the Star Wars universe. Either you love him or you hate him. But did you know there is more to Boba Fett than what we see on screen, whether that's in the original trilogy or the Mandalorian TV series on Disney+. Plus. With the recent edition of War of the Bounty Hunters comic series, we see more of Boba Fett than ever. So, here is my list of top 5 Boba Fett moments in the comic series. Number 5. Boba Fett paints his armor black and enters a tournament. Boba Fett finds himself in need of cash quickly, so he paints his armor black with some temporary paint, enters a fighting tournament, and the reason he paints his armor black is so he isn't recognized, but not only does he paint his armor black, but he changes his name to Django. Boba goes on to win the tournament in his father's name as a show of deep respect for his fallen father. Number 4. Boba Fett Fights Zuckus Even the galaxy's best bounty hunter from time to time can get a price put on his head. And if that price is big enough, all walks of the bounty hunter profession chime in. When Boba Fett failed to bring Han Solo to Jabba the Hutt, Jabba the Hutt put a price so big on him that every bounty hunter in the galaxy was after him, Zuckus included. When Boba Fett got the upper hand, Zuckus was hanging from a bridge. Zuckus panics, offers to tell Boba his future. Boba looks at him, says, not interested. Don't need your soothsaying today. Yeet! Kicks him off the bridge. Number 3. Boba Fett and Bylert Valance. Valance had teamed up with Dengar to retrieve Boba Fett, take him to Jabba the Hutt, and claim the reward money for the bounty. When they caught up to Boba Fett, he was just about to go retrieve Han Solo from the Empire. After Boba Fett separates the two, Boba Fett decides to use Valance's knowledge of the interior workings of the Super Star Destroyer, the Executor, Darth Vader's flagship. Once Boba has Han Solo back in custody, he turns on Valance and blasts a hole big enough in his chest to fit that Super Star Destroyer in. Bosk, the one-time mentor to Boba Fett, has decided it would be a good idea to cash in for the bounty on Boba Fett's head. But the once child prodigy of the Trandoshan Hunter has grown, not only in size, but ability. Boba Fett easily dispatches Bosk by removing his legs, tying his reptilian ass up, and leaving him on the icy planet. Cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. And before I move on with number one, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, give the channel a like, and leave a comment down below as to what your favorite Boba Fett moment is. And now, on with number one. Drum roll, please. Never mind. I don't need a drum roll. And coming in at number one, Boba Fett uses Chewbacca as a living Roman candle. After the events of The Empire Strikes Back, Leia, Lando, and Chewbacca are trying to retrieve Han Solo's frozen sideburns from Crimson Dawn. They run into Boba Fett along the way. None too thrilled that Boba Fett was responsible for all this, Leia orders Chewie to kill the bounty hunter. Well, one thing we know is that Boba Fett has a flamethrower. And one thing that doesn't go well with a flamethrower is hair. A lot of hair. One may even say enough hair to cover a bald yak. This is probably the most ruthless thing we have seen Boba Fett do. Chewbacca goes up in flames faster than a 1980s hairspray model with a crack addiction. Luckily, we all know how the rest of the story plays out, but it doesn't make this any less ruthless. The question I have is, how did Chewbacca recover so quickly? Well, that's going to do it, Star Wars fans, for my top five Boba Fett moments in the War of the Bounty Hunters comic series. If you like the content, please give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below if you have a different list of Boba Fett moments that you enjoy. Thank you for watching, and remember... This is the way, the only way.